In the previous lecture, we obtained phasor diagram, voltage triangle, impedance triangle, and power triangle for series RL circuit. And uh, now we are going to have the same things for series RC circuit. And as you are well aware of the basics, this lecture will not be difficult to understand. So let us begin with our discussion. This is our series RC circuit. Resistor and capacitor are connected in series and they have the same current IT through them. Let's say the voltage across the resistor is VR and the voltage across the capacitor is VC. And we know that when two different types of elements are connected in series combination, the total voltage will be the phasor sum. This means V phasor will be equal to VR phasor plus VC phasor. And V phasor is equal to I phasor multiplied to the impedance. And VR phasor is equal to I phasor multiplied to the resistance. And VC phasor is equal to negative of J XC I phasor. Let us try to understand how we have VC phasor equal to this. If you remember in the lecture phasor relationships for capacitor, we had the result. I phasor equal to J omega C V phasor. From here we can say that V phasor is equal to 1 over J omega C I phasor and 1 over omega C is the capacitive reactance XC and we can write 1 over J as negative of J. I've already explained it. So we will have V phasor equal to negative of J XC I phasor. Now we will put all these in this equation and we will have I phasor Z equal to I phasor R minus J XC I phasor. Taking I common and then cancelling it out we will have impedance Z equal to resistance R minus J Xe, which is the capacitive reactance. We now have everything to draw the phasor diagram and to begin with I will take the current phasor as the reference phasor because current is same in the circuit and VR phasor will have the same phase angle as I phasor but it will have the lesser magnitude and VC phasor will lag the current phasor by 90 degrees because it is the voltage across the capacitor and uh, the vector sum of VR phasor and VC phasor will give us V phasor the net voltage phasor and the angle between the net voltage phasor and the net current phasor is the power factor angle theta so this is our phasor diagram and this is how the triangles will look for voltage impedance and power. So let us move on to the voltage triangle. The base is VR, the perpendicular is VC and the hypotenuse is V and this angle is theta. And from this triangle we can say that voltage V is equal to under root VR square VR square plus Vc square and the power factor angle theta is equal to 10 inverse minus Vc minus Vc divided by Vr and the power factor cos theta it will be equal to Vr divided by V and the power factor will be leading it will be leading because the impedance is having the capacitive nature. Now let's move on to the impedance triangle. This angle is angle theta. The base is the resistance R. The perpendicular is the reactance Xc. And the hypotenuse is the impedance Z. And the impedance Z is equal to under root R square plus Xc square and theta the power factor angle it is equal to 10 inverse negative of xc negative of xc divided by r and the power factor 
cos theta it is equal to r divided by z and it will be leading let's move on to the last triangle which is power triangle the angle is theta base is the real power this side will be reactive power qc and this side will be the apparent power s and the apparent power s is equal to under root p square plus qc square and theta it is equal to 10 inverse minus qc divided by p and the power factor cos theta it will be equal to p divided by s and it will be leading